G'day, mate! It's me, Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi, on the internet, and today, it's another mailbag adventure. I haven't got a huge amount of mail to open. There was a box of Modern Horizons sent through that is in another video that I'll put in the links in the description below and in the cards. That was kind of like a, an extra mailbag, a decadent adventure with myself and John cracking through a box of Modern Horizons. If you want to see that, click through to those links. But besides from that, I've got some other bits to open. Namely, we've got these things here. Now, all but one of these things were actually hand-delivered to me in, uh, well... Hope that's not breakable. This and this were in Birmingham. This was in Vegas. And this came through. This came through in a, like a, a, a padded envelope and it was soiled. Um, <laughs> I don't think it was the person who said it that soiled it. I think it's the British Mail. Um, so I took it out of that because it kind of smelled a bit funny. And uh, well, I peeked inside. It's nothing gross because I had to check it wasn't, I don't know. A turd, for example. If you want to send anything for me to open up, to read out on the channel, and just to perhaps shop on my shelves, for example, then send stuff to the PO Box address on screen. Now, I'm all that out of the way, let's have a look inside my mailbag. Right, let's open some shit! First things first was the soiled one with a box came out relatively unscathed. It's a little bit... It got a little bit of water damage, I thought, but maybe I'm imagining that. Now, I did a peek inside to make sure it wasn't something crazy. It's uh, two boosters, uh, which is really cool. I'll come to that in a second. And some cards that say, P Play me, please. Now, these are Sigarda's Aids. For those of you who don't know, I have played Sigarda's Aid in a deck called Pure Steel, Pure Banter in a video on the channel before. So I don't know if the, this viewer has not seen this before and they want me to play it again, or they've seen that video and want me to play more of it. But I'm just saying, I have played it, but thank you. I appreciate these. <laughs> I've actually got a load of cigar disease that I bought ages ago because I thought the card was going to be really good. And well, it wasn't. So these will go and add to my cigar aid collection. But thank you. And then we've got two boosters, which I'm going to open up towards the end. We'll see what we end up with to open up. We've got a Khans and a Modern Horizons booster. Now, that is it, which is great. This is cool. I love people sending me stuff, especially boosters to open. That's exciting. But uh, I don't know who sent this. The envelope didn't have a return address on it. It was damp as fuck. I wish I kept it, but it was like a couple of weeks ago now. And there's a box inside that survived thanks to the plastic innards of the uh, of the bubble envelope. Um, yeah. Whoever sent this, thank you. I appreciate it. Please comment down below and let me know. But uh, I don't know who it was, so I can't thank you. But thank you anyway. I'm gonna open this last because this is more of a surprise. This was not soiled, therefore I let it go. And it was hand delivered to me by a gentleman at GP Birmingham, which was a few months ago now. I just haven't got around to opening anything because I've not really been to my PO box much. I don't know what's in this, and unless you've put your name inside, which I'm hoping you have, I don't know who gave me this, except it says top and arrows and stuff. That wasn't the one I dropped at the beginning, by the way. I dropped this one. <laughs> Thank fuck. Before we open that, I have a Russian pack of Innistrad here. It's already open. It's actually been repacked with some stuff that the, I found what to give me. Haven't looked inside yet. And there is a uh, letter that was given by another viewer in LA. Or was it Vegas? It was Vegas. In Vegas. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to read it off camera in case you've got something embarrassing on it. Vince, thank you for being kind of a big deal who is never a big pain, smiley face. Keep the professor honest. I'll fucking try, I promise. Thank you for being the voice for others on Dies to Removal. Yours... Mark Mason. Oh, thank you, my friend. I know exactly who you are. I remember taking this off of you. I, we've, we've interacted a few times. And I appreciate it. Mark also gave me some nice socks that are actually in an episode of Dice to Remove. I'll try and put a picture of that on screen now. Because um, he wanted me to have as funky a socks as the professor. So I appreciate that. That's sweet. Excellent. Shout out to Mark, who uh, gave these to me at a Magic Fest and said, Brian's socks are always more weird than yours. So try and try and up your game. So thank you, Mark. I appreciate this. I know my socks are always more classy than yours. Um, well, you can green screen Those are nice. I, I, I commented that I thought those were nice socks. You could put a little beach wave crashing in my feet here. I do try to be the voice of reason and to keep him honest. The professor is honest. I think that's the one of the professor's biggest faults is that he's incredibly honest. He's not going to bullshit you for the most part. So, but I assume you mean like, you know, keeping him level-headed perhaps? Because he's a very honest gentleman. I also like this envelope. It's got Paris and France on it. Have you penned these? No. Paris and, uh, Paris and London on it there. Uh, this is us here. This is the EU, which we are now leaving because um, people hate foreigners and are racists. Oh, you thought you can get away from the politics, didn't you? Not on the Pleasant Kenobi channel, you little bitches! Then we've got this. 
Okay, so let's have a look inside. I know there's some cards on a letter. Again, I'm going to put the letter off camera in case it's got something embarrassing. So I'm going to come to the letter in a second. Spirit, zombie, beast, demon, soldier, goblin, elemental, elf, warrior. These are quite nice. I like these. Ultimate, the Ultimate Guard series. Cool. Cool. They get free advertising for Ultimate Guard. <laughs> And then we've got a foil spirit of the lab, which is wicked. I fucking, I fucking love, like, I love white foils, and I really love the white enchantment foils. I'm really excited for the new Terra set. Because then we get some fucking banging, um, uh, 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 enchantment creatures in the new set, or enchantment anything, enchantment artifacts or whatever. And then a sprouting vine, which is that the storm one? No? Oh no, there it is, yeah. Uh, search your library for a basic land card, reveal that card, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library, and it has Storm. Uh, that is something that uh, I've never actually cast before, but it feels like it could be really fun. Especially if you had a Tyler, Tyler's Tracker and playing casting this for like four. Oof, the while you. And for those of you who don't know, Spirit of the Lab used to be a bit of a mainstay in Legacy. Uh, not so much anymore. It's very good doing the Treasure Cruise here. It's a Spirit of the Lab says each player can't draw more than one card each turn. When someone casts a Brainstorm, and you vial this in off of an Aether Vial. Yeah, it feels good. I might try playing it again out of Renin Six is Dead. Thank fuck that's gone, eh? The Witch is Dead. Long live Legacy. Let's have a look at this letter. Th thank you for this, my friend. I appreciate this a lot. I love this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to read off camera just in case. Dear Vince, thank you so much for the amazing content. Please keep up all the great work. Love your videos and all the magic content you make. Hope these cards, although little and cheap, find some space in your commander decks. Ah. Well, I'll happily, uh, I like playing stacks, and maybe that will be the case. I'll also hopefully maybe play a play set of these in D&T and, and Legacy at some point as well. I've only owned one for all these so far. From Shelby Lee, the 8 Rack Scrub and OG Hatted Flickwits. I think Shelby, if, she, if, you, if you, I don't know, it's Ryan Shelby Lee. For, yeah, Ryan, Ryan? Yes. Yeah, I think you're the first person that I ever drew the hats on the Flickerwisp with a marker at a GP or an event. Um, so thank you. I appreciate that you come up to me all the time and have to say hello and have a chat and catch up about what you're up to in Legacy and other formats and stuff. So I appreciate you. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, right. Time to open this. I think I need a knife. I normally do this in my kitchen, but today we're in my office. So, do I have any knives in my office? Where's my knife collection? I don't even have any scissors. What have I done with them? Okay, I'm going to open it without a knife. I'm going to open it over here on my lap, though. I have absolutely no fucking idea what is in this. It's a nice ASMR box opening for you, the viewers at home, though. Right, okay. I've, I've undone the tape. I'm now going to look into it for the live reaction on camera. Do I need to move this stuff in case it's fucking going to ruin them? Maybe, maybe. Let's go. Huh. There's loads of stuff in here. What is this? This is some nice card that you can squeeze. No, it's actually really rigid. That's the whole point. You're not meant to do this. Oh, no. Not meant to squeeze it. Anyway. So we've got. Oh, I actually fucking love the artwork as well. The Jedi, as it were. Oh, who is it? Yeah, it's Megali, yeah? Megal. Yeah, Megali Villain of You? I probably fucking butchered that name. The, the, the lady did Monstrum Mentor and Torture Defiance also did this. And I just fucking love the, the light sword uh, monks from from, Cam uh, from um, Khan's. So th thank you, that's wicked. I love it. Grumpy Paris. I never got to go to a Grumpy Paris yet. So what else is this? You got some dice? Oh no, that was not meant to happen. Shit. I'm gonna play that on the floor for the moment and put. Yeah, let's just do that, Vince. Got some dice. Got some spin downs. What spin downs did we get? This is Return to Ravnica. This is original Illustrator. Sick. And then this one is Gate Crash. That's an old school dice. I like it. This is a D30. I'm going to make an excuse to roll this in my D&D group, because it looks like a lot of fun. 15. Nailed it. We've got some Ultra oh my God sleeves, 80 pink matte sleeves. I'll definitely use them for the mid. I do like pink sleeves. Loveman's Magic Card Price List. Oh boy. Are this Is this a Magic Card Price List for Do Not Forget to Pre-Order Alliances? 
Is this original? Holy fuck, May 1996. That was before I was born because I'm only 21. Honest, we're back to the time of year. Fuck, I don't know who said, oh my goodness, this is gas, this is gas. Right, we're gonna have a look in this, this box in a moment. This is fucking awesome, what? Wow, Winter Blast, £4.90. Oh, it's been marked with someone's collecting their collection. That's so fucking cool. It's a fourth edition singles list. Oh, look what's in here. Homeland singles. Didgeridoo. £2.90? It's one of the most valuable cards in the set. A £5.90 is Autumn Willow. Baron Sengu at £3.90. What the fuck is Didgeridoo so expensive at that point in time? Did they know what was coming? The Dark. Blood Moon. Five, where is it? £5.90? £4.90? Where is it? Probably £5.90. A ball lightning, £8.90. They've got none in stock. <laughs> Preacher, which is actually, I've seen a small amount of legacy player. I don't mind playing my legacy list once uh, in DT. £10.90. Oh, here we go. Legends cards. All Hallows Eve that we saw Meryn play on EDH and Chill recently. £24.90 back then. Chains of Mephistopheles, which is like a couple hundred pounds now. £14.90, absolute fucking bargain. I'd be picking those up on in mass. Okay, I've had a little look through. We've got its legends. Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale, six. Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. £29.90, that's now over a thousand pounds. I think it's about a thousand and a half. I'll have to check exactly. £29.90 at least they knew it was good back then. Fuck, oh, this is awesome. Arabian Nights, Drop of Honey, with a £200 card now, it was £29 back then, again. They already knew it was good. So that's really cool as a collector's item. I'm gonna fucking cherish that, thank you. I want to put that over here. Then we got a Oath of the Gatewatch collector's guide, that's sick. I like this Fate Forge collector's guide. There's a lot of collectibles, this is sick. And then we've got... Wow. The Magic the Gathering official encyclopedia. With over 1300 color cards. Predating the internet. This is fucking sweet. Look at this. It's got like a description of all the 5th edition showing like the City of Brass and 8 of key cards. It's got all the cards from each set up until that point. So the second volume. This is Mirage through to Arena or Portal. Is that what set? Arena League? I don't know what that is, honestly. But 5th edition where the Light and Port was in here. Uh, Port was actually one of the early sets that I played. And these are some of the cards I had, like a, in a booster box that I found, or in a, not a booster box, a tournament box I found in a boot sale once. With the light, with the light, portal, there we are. This this is my first set of like, boosters that I remember opening. Oh, portal. Those were the days. But don't forget, I'm only 21, kids. I'm only 21. Yes, Red Fortwood Tree Folk. Look at that little dork. I also love this art for Rain of Tears, legitimately. This is look funny, but this is legitimately fucking awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Fuck, I don't know who gave me this. You came up to me, you thanked me for the content of Birmingham, and you gave me a box. I asked if it was a bomb, you said it wasn't a bomb, and I said I'll take it. And I don't know who it was, I'm so sorry. Please again, comment down, but that's two things I've been sent, which is awesome. Okay, what's inside this box? It's a lot of cards. Okay, let's have a look. Oberster Schiedsman Augustin IV. This is a German Grand Augustus. A German Azorius Can uh, Chancery. A, G a German, uh, the guy that turns into gold from the original uh, Born of the Gods. A German... Which one is this? No, not German, sorry. Chinese or Japanese? I'm not sure. Wow, an Ink Moth Nexus. Blink, sorry. Blink Moth Nexus. Uh, Ondo something? Oh, this is testing me out. Some sort of healers. That's a Kamigawa card. I don't know which one it is, though, honestly. Some sort of snow giant. One of the Archons of Zendikar. I think some of these cards, I need to look them up. I might have the White Orchid. I them both, it's times and standard. I don't recommend this art at all, at the end of the set, but... This is Ghost of Monk, for the bit of that in standard. Some more newer stuff. Spectrum Knight, Conjurer's Closet in Korean. Wow, there's, there's some fucking sick stuff in here, they just gave this to me? Stormherd. Uh, another Kamikawa legend I can't name. Oh, I played this in standard. Or tried to and it's bad. Can't remember what it is. Is that Followed Footsteps? Oh, I do love Russian cards, but I don't know what that is. I'm so sorry. Osai Guy. Oh, wow. German Legends card. Sick. Uh, Restore Balance in German. A Foil Chinese or Japanese A Crowing Horse. Is that Follow the Clues? 
Peregrine Drake in foil. Soul Warden in foil. Disenchant. Old School Disenchant. Reverse Polarity. Oh, pay attention. Oh, this one's designed. All the creatures get plus zero, plus three until end of turn. Wow. Oh, this is the iconic. I was going to say that's not the. I remember that's the iconic Masters print review. See, foil jar Bibles. A Renin Six art card. Oh, Renin Six, you're gone now, my friend. Gone, but not forgotten. A signed Boris Garrison, a foil bear token. A very nice mountain from um, on is it onslaught. It's onslaught, right? Onslaught mountains. Some of those are Saga Legacy Mountains, some Mirage Mountains, a Snow Covered Plains, probably put it on my DT deck, a Chinese Plains from um, the Return to Zendika, the Return to Zendika set, the Unglued Plains, the Odyssey Plains, the Saga, or one of the Odds of Block Plains again, Masks Plains, that's really nice, Mirage Plains, I love that Plains too, Mirage, 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 Odyssey, the Odds of Block again. Onslaught, Mirage, whatever the one was, Morph. God, fuck, I think I fucked up the names of these sets. Oh. La Nerda. I love foreign cards. Oh, is that a Russian foil? Just in a sleeve. Not foil, but it's a Russian one, regardless, I'll be using that. Another planes. And then we get to. Oh, what are these? <laughs> this is the Mirage rulebook. Batches and effects, counters. Tapping and untapping lands. Onslaught rules. <sighs> this is fucking awesome. Tell us what you think. An onslaught feedback form. Odyssey rules insert. Explaining how flashback works with Kamal pit fighter at the top. And a werebear explaining threshold. Sick. Which is this feedback form from? This is a feedback form from Odyssey. And then, oh, hello. This is like the first cards that I played with. I never got to buy the boosters of these. But the Urza block. My friend had a lot of cards of these. The guy got me into magic. This is uh, Urza's Saga. Rules and so. It talks about sleeping enchantments. Sleeping enchantments start out as enchantments that can wake up. Oh, it's Opal Gargle, Opal Knight. I, I loved it when I was a kid. Cycling Echo, growing enchantments. And rules changes, effects, duration, tramples been changed. Huh. Um, I don't know who sent me all this, but thank you. That is a very generous walk down memory lane. There's a lot of cool collectibles. I, I love the fact that there's just like, there are collectible cards in here. There are foreign copies of cards that are like good and I love and I like to play with in Commander and things as well. But I'm really loving... These inserts, these are fucking awesome. Like I'm, I'd love to declare all this stuff and have it all available. If you haven't noticed, I really like magic. Thank you, whoever you are. Please let me know. Next GP I'm at in England, coming up. I'm the dude getting the box with all the cool shit in it. But thank you, that's fucking wicked. And you know what's really cool about that? About all of this is that it's very unique. I received some very cool stuff. The full like draft set from Naki on my Discord was fucking awesome. Um. The whole punched cards from Toma. I've received some really cool stuff in my peer box. And I'm still being surprised by just... This is incredible. I'm going to get this dice out of there. I'm just damage these. This is incredibly cool and incredibly unique. I'm fucking into it. Thank you. Unique stuff is always exciting. And this is fucking wicked. Guess it's time to crack these packs now, right? Okay, we're coming to the end of the video. Let's crack some packs that I've received in the post. Cards of Tarkia. Let's go through. I fucking love Ponyback Brigade. Those were the days. Flipping over Ponyback. Displacing it if you could. Disdain for Stroke is still played heavily in Pioneer now. Absan Charm is absolutely house during standard. Secret Plans just sucks my ass. Just Guy Ascendancy. Sick. If you haven't seen, I've been playing that quite a bit in Pioneer in videos here on the CFB channel. So check those out. But yes, that's a pretty good hit. This is a card that I think will just keep making waves in Pioneer over time. That is sick. So that's a good hit. I don't know how much it's worth anymore. I don't know if it's half in value. But it's not a, like an unplayable garbage rare. It's not quite a fetch land, but... And then we've got... Spore for August Gas. What else? The, uh, the two color natural eyes. One of the slivers. I don't I even know the slivers. Ooh, Cloud Treasure Sliver. Ooh, baby! Okay, the sliver's cool and everything, but that's a foil horizon land. It's also one that I play quite regularly in uh like highlander and commander oh it's in get rocks colors kids it's in get rocks colors also i don't know if i have that art card yet fuck that's gas okay i'll take it 
That was a good pack. If you've enjoyed this video and you like my content, at least click a like button down below and let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane and this random uh, huge amounts of kindness that people keep sending me. Thank you to everyone who sent me stuff in the past, everyone who sent me stuff in this video. If you liked it, click like down below, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you all very, very soon with some more gameplay over the course of the week. And Twitch streams and all that jazz. Ta-ta for now.